Yo, guys. Oh. Your brother Miller. I like sports and fucking bitches. <laughs> well, Apple Vision Pro is rolled out, and I was so excited to buy it. I thought I'd experience something new as I'm a VR enthusiast. But I don't think there's anything new to experience. Oh, shut up, kid. Well, honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. And I'm really not going to buy Apple Vision Pro. Oh, shut up, kid. Well, I see some people. I mean, Joker. Who have never experienced any VR headset are flexing like this is some new technology. And the most funny thing is that some clowns are doing childish things and just getting excited to see big screen in VR. Messages again. Huh? Got music set up here. Big screen TV set up on my wall. Gordon Ramsay showing me how to cook above the stove. Notes right here for some groceries. Here's what it looks like when it's on. And Gosh, if you find anyone doing this shit in your neighborhood, just call them Joker. Because they are clowns who have never experienced any VR headset before. Well, Honestly, people like us who have been into VR for years and actually live our lives in the metaverse and we do everything in VR, from sleeping to going clubbing and even sometimes we do ERP. I don't do it! I love you, Ooh. but for fuck's sake! Really, there is nothing new to experience in Apple. Vision Pro that we didn't already experience with other VR headsets. People are just overhyped by just seeing a pass-through screen in VR and doing childish things in public. Like this shit already didn't exist before Vision Pro. Oh shut up kid! First of all, I think Apple is just creating some fake hype and making people think that this technology is new and revolutionary when in fact, it already exists, but nobody cares before. The Vision Pro is basically a VR headset, but Apple doesn't use this term VR headset. They call it a spatial computer. Honestly, it's really funny to see that instead of developing new technology, they just changed the name of the VR headset to Spatial Computer so that it sounds more innovative and cool. Wow, if he says one more cool thing, he's a- I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under <laughs> long sleeve shirts. It's like some kindergarten kid putting a hat on their cat and selling it as a rabbit to those who don't know any better. Oh, shut up, kid! Well, the Vision Pro is actually a VR headset with a video pass-through feature, which means you can see the real world through the lenses with some digital overlays. But honestly, this is not new at all. The Meta Quest 3 already has this feature, and it works pretty well. You can switch between VR and AR modes with a simple gesture, and you can interact with both virtual and physical objects. What's going on? This is Cut My Back. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. And the best part is, the Quest 3 only costs $500, which is seven times cheaper than the Vision Pro. Basically, the only noticeable restriction is super close-up items and objects can get a bit blurry, and then you, you can't quite make out like really small or fine text, so you can't like read an email or tiny text on your phone in your hand. At least I thought that the resolution would be better on the Vision Pro, but unfortunately, you can't read text messages on your phone while wearing the headset. <laughs> Although Vision Pro has good performance and some extra features, such as face tracking, eye tracking, and a good hand tracking, but it also has a weird thing as it needs an external battery pack to power it. Oh, look at my tiny dog! I'm gonna put it in my tiny purse! <laughs> Seriously, it's too heavy for me. Oh, shut up, kid! However, Meta Quest 3 doesn't have face and eye tracking, but it has haptic feedback, finger tracking, 
and adaptive triggers. It also has direct touch hand tracking, which means you can use your hands as controllers. Hey, that's pretty good. Everywhere, what can this thing actually do? We feel like we need some sort of justification to spend three, four thousand dollars on this. Honestly, in my opinion, at this time, there is no justification to buy Apple Vision Pro as it is very isolated and closed off from the rest of the VR and AR ecosystem. Oh, shut up, kid! The only things we can expect from Vision Pro are watching videos on a big screen and making calls with uncanny like creepy avatars. Oh, shut up, kid! Along with some other cheap features like this. This feature comes by default in Meta and it annoys me a lot. Oh, shut up, kid! Overall, if you are a newbie rich kid who has never used any VR headset and only gets overhyped to see a pass-through overlay screen in VR and just wants to watch movies and videos and probably wants to flex in front of your homeless neighbors. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. <laughs> you can definitely buy the Apple Vision Pro. But Meta Quest 3 is a great choice if you want to enjoy both virtual reality and mixed reality without any limitations. It only costs $500, unlike Apple Vision Pro, which is around $4,000 and really you won't gonna miss out on any cool features or apps, as Meta has almost all of them. Plus, you can sideload from other platforms. Hey, that's pretty good. And honestly, all these Apple Vision Pro ads showing watching movies in VR and eating popcorn. I already do it every day and there's nothing new for me to be excited about. Oh, shut up, kid. Well, what do you think about Apple Vision Pro? Please write down your comments. I'd love to hear your opinion on Vision Pro.